Hi, John Toner with Synergy Wiz here. I'm going to show you how to put together your Revolve after you've printed it. Most of the pieces you have will be ready to assemble right off the build plate. The back piece, however, requires these supports to be removed. Most of the supports can be torn right off. This back piece here likes to be torn from here, from the center, outwards. Once again, from the center and being torn outwards. And there's small little pads here you can remove. Then you'll just have these two little supports here to remove. And if you put your thumb right here, it should pop right out. And then you'll have a back piece that's ready to assemble. Step one of the assembly process will be to attach the front and back pieces. To do this, you simply push together these pieces, and a little bit of force and rocking helps. It's one side, then the other side. And after you do that, you might want to bring it back and forth a little bit, kind of wear it in. There you go, now it's worn in and can go in and out relatively easily. The next step will be to put the Velcro on the front and the headrest of the Revolve. We recommend using an adhesive like E6000 to ensure the Velcro stays put. When applying the Velcro to the front of the headset, you want to start with the center, push down, and then work your way outwards. For the headrest, you simply want to get a corner, make sure that you have it precisely where you want it, place it down, and then go along the edge. That's it, now your Velcro is on. The next step, we remove the tabs at the bottom of the back button. And then with the revolve slid in all the way, simply slide the button into the back. And you'll notice as you push the button in, the revolve should come out here and then the button will slide right into the back. Give it a couple of tests there to make sure it's working properly. Once the back button is in the back of the Revolve, you will want to take the two springs that are shipped to you and put them in the back button. Then take the back slide and slide it into the back so that it closes the Revolve. You want to make sure the button is actually off the table here so that it can be expanded all the way down. And you push the uh, back slide in almost all the way, making sure it's catching on the grooves that are here and here underneath. Then take the two springs, push it underneath the back slide, here and here. Once both springs are tucked in, you can finish sliding the back in all the way, and this should close the back piece. Um, you will notice there'll be a little lip right here, so you want to lift this and push forward to lock that in place. Next, you'll want to take the headrest and attach the back loops to it. You will notice the back loops are different on each side. You want to have the side with the back loops at the same length. And you want to have it facing upwards to the word revolve 
so that the wider end is facing upwards. Same goes for both sides. So the side that has the same length goes into the, the headrest and is facing upwards for the wider area. I'm gonna push these in so nice and snug. Then take the large pin and slide it into each of the holes here. We recommend having a pair of pliers. For us, we put padding on the pliers to not damage the plastic. So put it in there, give it a squeeze, and they lock into place. With the loops now attached to the headrest, you put the loops on the back of the revolve, slide them in. You want to make sure the word revolve is facing upwards on the revolve. Get the loops in so you can see the, uh, the hole on both sides. Then take two more pins. Place them in. And once again, use the pliers to lock them in place. Once you do that, the back of the revolve is all set up. Now that the back is completed, it's time to attach the front of the revolve. First step will be to get these pins pushed in part of the way, but still have it open here. So you can take a pair of pliers, you might be able to put it with your bare hands, or sometimes you can push it in on a table. You want to make sure that you leave this gap open here on both sides. Then you'll take the spring, drop it in on the right side. And then at a slight angle, so angle this, bring it in, and it should have a nice locking motion. I'll do it one more time. Make sure the spring is in there, so it's at a slight angle so it doesn't fall out. And then bring this at an angle. It's good to go. All right, now to attach it to the revolve. You want to push in with your thumb as you're uh, sliding it on the revolve. And then hold it in place. You'll want to make sure to keep this aligned and then simply place it on a table or hard surface and push down. It should snap into place. Do the same for the other side. So sometimes it's good to push on this, make sure that it's free to move, but once again, you wanna have it so these, uh, these two sides, the front hinge and the revolve itself are smooth. And then push down the pin. For this part, then it's good to use a corner of a table. Now that both pins are in, the revolve should be locked into place. And when you push the button in, it comes up, locks in the up position, push down again, comes back, locks in the down position. All right, your revolve's almost done at this point. Now you need to put the locks on. When you print the locks, they'll have these tabs at the bottom. You'll want to tear these off.
if your valve is facing you, you'll see that uh, these two separate turn locks have openings in different areas. So if the revolve is facing you, the right side goes to the right one and the left side goes to the left one. You want to take the opening here and that goes towards the inside. It should slide right in and then turn it to lock it into place. Same goes for the other side. Take this opening here towards the inside, slide it in, lock it into place. Now you're almost done. Next, you want to put the button on the front. You'll see uh, there's only one way you can apply it. Match that little curve to the curve in the button. If you want, you can add a little glue to the button as well to make sure it stays. But it's not 100% necessary. Now, you're almost done. You need to apply the padding. With the front of the padding, you want to make sure you don't put the padding too low, otherwise it can get caught in the hinge as you flip the vial up and down. And the back padding, pretty self-explanatory. Take the Velcro, apply it to the Velcro. There you go, fully functioning revolve.